Hey, welcome in everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Vic Work, and this is going to be the latest edition of the grittiest take as we preview our Philadelphia Flyers against the Edmonton Oilers. As first and foremost, let's check in on where both clubs are uh, statistically 16, 26, and 10 for the Flyers, 29, 21, and 3 for the Edmonton Oilers, now led by Jay Woodcroft, who came from the Bakersfield Condors as one of the E, or not the ECHL, the AHL's best coaches to now be coaching well at the NHL level where right now the Edmonton Oilers are sitting right behind the Dallas Stars right outside of that wild card spot they're playing for a lot to get back in technically to the playoffs like I said sitting right outside of that wild card spot where the Flyers are just playing for obviously guys jobs going forward and into the future obviously the interesting thing surrounding the Flyers is they complimented Morgan Frost last week to then uh, bench him and then send him down, so go figure. Um, Kevin Hayes might be back soon. I don't know how much the point is of bringing him back. I feel like doing what the Knicks did to Kemba Walker might be smart here and just letting him rest the rest of the season. There's really no benefit of having him play, and it just risks future injury. But anyway, going off of tonight's game, the lines for tonight's game, according to Catherine, they're going to be fair B. Giroux, Atkinson. That looked really good when they were able to get that line back together. So it's going to be exciting, even in a dark season, to see what they can do. Lindblom, Lawden, Konechny, JBR, who hopefully gets traded by the deadline, Broussard, Mayu, Isaac Ratcliffe, Patrick Brown, and Zach McEwen. Then we have Ivan Provorov, Justin Braun, Travis Sanheim, Rasmus Ristolainen, Yondel, and Sealer. And it looks like Carter Hart at the 290 goals against with a record that should be much better than 10-16. And, and the 9-1-1 uh, save percentage is really um, is going to be a net. And he's obviously been really sharp. And also, just a comp- comment on Martin Jones, I think he's been much better than his numbers this year. The team just sucks and hasn't played the best in front of him all the time. Um, Allison also, in terms of positive news, is supposed to be back soon. So that'll be nice to see. Uh, for Wade Allison, when it comes to the Edmonton Oilers, they're not the best defensive team, so maybe our Flyers can break through the Tyson Barry and Darnell Nurse line when Nurse is a very good defenseman, but not the sexiest in his own zone. He's gotten a lot better at it, but not a stalwart of a defensive defenseman. And um, Burry's not good in the defensive zone. Then Duncan Keats not good in the defensive zone at this point of his career. Evan Bouchard's very good. William Legeeson's a very solid defenseman. Nima Line is a solid defenseman if they decide to go with seven guys again. And then Cody Ceci's a uh, really solid because they've been going with seven defensemen sometimes and one less forward and just have Malone and Benson rotate in uh, with other guys where Malone's a guy that has familiar. Well, Malone hasn't played yet, but they've had him up on the roster, as you say, where he might get put in tonight, uh, where he has familiarity with Woodcroft, who got a lot out of the AHL veteran Brad Malone. So it'll be interesting to see if he's put into the lineup. Uh, Yamamoto, uh, it seems like he's a game-time decision, uh, according to this, so we'll see if he's in, but he would be with Dreisaitl and Kane if he is for the second line. The first would be McDavid, Fogel, Hyman, and you have McLeod, who's been really good, Shore, and Ryan. Um, obviously, you see Puyarvi. They have some key injuries, Nugent Hopkins, Puyarvi, uh, even Cassian um, is solid. Chris Russell's really solid in the cliff bomb we all know has been out. So they have some key injuries as well, but this team's been playing – so getting back into that race for Jay Woodcroft, the concern for them is defense and having consistent goaltending. It seems like they're going to go with Koski in their 901, 18 and 8, 313 this year. Uh, we'll see if the Flyers are able to get the offense going, able to push the pace enough, able to jam them enough to get the pace going back in their own direction to win this game. I feel like the Oilers are, might be a little bit too quick of an offensive team for our Philadelphia Flyers to match up against, but we'll have to see. Because I obviously thought that about the Carolina Hurricanes. And our Philadelphia Flyers actually played the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, albeit in a losing effort. So what? They played them really well in that game, even better than the St. Louis Blues. And I thought they would have matched up better, uh, flipped in that way, matched up better against the Blues. But it is what it is. Obviously, I was wrong in that, and I could be wrong in this again. I just don't like the matchup in terms of the speed and efficiency of their offense compared to how the Flyers' defense is played. But at the same time, Edmonton's defense isn't great. So this could just be one of those high-scoring games where if that becomes <clears throat> the case where both defenses are hanging out, their goaltenders are dry, I would then give us the favorite in that realm because Carter Hart, I think, has a much better chance than Mikko Koskinen to step up in the end and make the huge save or even just carry us to a win, making a bunch of saves throughout the game 
than I feel like Koskinen, who's been solid this year. He's he's at 18 and 8, 901, a 313. That's backup goalie numbers. Um, that, but he's had to be put in a lot more than he ha- than he should have to be because they didn't get enough goaltending here. They kept relying on Mike Smith, and then Skinner, who's down, is probably the best option with Koskinen over Smith at this point. But it is what it is. Um, but everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Edmonton Oilers. Two teams that struggle defensively, but the Oilers are much better offensively. We'll have to see what happens. Don't put them on the power play. That's going to really hurt the Flyers. Let's go Flyers. Hopefully they can pull out a miracle and get a win against the Oilers tonight. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please can subscribe. Help us grow to 215 by March 15th. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.